Hello everybody, this is King Murdoch and today I wanted to make a short tutorial video on a problem that somebody was having with texturing. The problem was that, see there's two cylinders here, see the way this one looks here, it's uh, on the left. That's kind of a weird shine to it as compared to the one on the right that looks a little bit, you know, better. You can see the edges, it's the chrome shine on it. It's just a lot better than that one. Uh, basically the problem is here on the left one is coming out of the modeling program uh, blender or whatever program you use um, you're not adding edge split for it to be able to distinguish where the proper edges should be and you know to distinguish the smoothness of how smooth they should be so it comes out looking completely smooth and then you have that uh, the <clears throat> horrible kind of weird look to the chrome. So I'll be making a short tutorial here, show you how to fix that. Um, I'll be using Blender. So let's get to it. Okay, so here we are in Blender, and uh, we get rid of this little cube here. Okay, so the problem with that looking the way it was looking in Giant's Editor is pretty much um, having to use Edge Split. Like I said, a lot of these uh, programs have so many modifiers and so many tools, it's hard for everybody to always try to uh, have the time and patience to go through and, and learn everything to know what it does. So make this a little bigger. Okay, so you see usually when you start with an object like that you have the flat faces, you can see all the edges. The way you usually fix that is you go to smooth groups, hit smooth shading. When you see these little dark spots here, that's what makes it look warped. Like you seen in Giant Saturn, that's what was giving it that weird look to the chrome. So the way to fix this is to go here to this little wrench, click on it, click and split modifier right here. <coughs> and you see now you can see the edge on both sides and then the faces went flat, smooth, it's nice and equal. Now depending on the mod and the curve to it that you're trying to uh, bring out and make it look right without having that weird uh, warp look to it, you get a split right here, it's a split angle and you slide this up and down until you get the proper look. You don't want any of those dark edges like when you go too high you see those dark edges and everything the smooth spots came back out. You don't want to go that far. Whenever you see that you went a little bit too far you want to go to see that's about where you need it to without going over and that's what's going to get that perfect look to it without giving it warp. Now sometimes edge split doesn't work depending if you imported OBJ or if the person that made the model sometimes what they'll do is they'll have uh, they'll have the, the seams and lines marked as sharp see it not look like that. I'll have green lines going all through it now sometimes it all depending on, on what program it came from or uh, so on you know this won't be a problem sometimes edge split would still work on here but a lot of times it won't because they're marked as sharp so you're still going to get flat edges no matter what it looks like when you're in a here in object mode it still looks smooth but you'll you'll be seeing those when you export it to i3d so what you want to do is you want to make sure that you go over to your edges and you clear the sharp before you do any of that so make sure all those lines are nice and clear and then you want to use edge split only in object mode because you won't be able to tell too much of a difference if you're using it in edit mode let's see that's go to smooth and it's split and that's how you do that and then that's how you get that proper look to your chrome without looking all warped and all screwed up so uh, this video was made to 
um, show somebody that emailed me and was asking me that question and what's wrong with it. Uh, this is made to show them how to fix that. So, if you guys have any other problems with uh, texturing or anything like that, uh, just let me know. Send me an email if you have my email, and I'll try to make it easy to show you guys how to fix your problem. So, till next time, this is Murph. I'm out.